Okay, so ang didiscuss natin ngayon ay kung paano mag-factor ng perfect square trinomial. Okay? Now, before we factor perfect square trinomial, dapat alam natin yung characteristics ng isang perfect square trinomial. Kasi hindi lahat ng trinomial ay perfect square. This is special type of trinomial. Okay? Una, the given is trinomial, of course. It has three terms. Pangalawa, the first and last terms are perfect squares. Pag sinabing perfect squares, meron silang whole number na square root. Okay? Number three, the middle term is the result, the product of two, square root of the first term, and the square root of the last term, disregard the sign of the middle term. Now, para lalo natin maintindihan at ma-visualize itong mga characteristics na ito, I have here some examples. Okay? Number one, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Okay? Check natin yung kanyang characteristic number one. Tingnan natin kung pasok siya. Is it trinomial? Definitely, it has three terms. Diba? So, check yan. Ito yun, no? One, two, three. So, it has three terms. Ito ay trinomial. Yung first and last term ba ay perfect squares? Characteristic number two na tayo. Tingnan natin. Yung x squared, perfect square ba yan? Ano ang square root ng x squared? That's x. So, x squared is a perfect square kasi x times x is x squared. Okay? Ang isang palatandaan na perfect square yung isang variable kapag kanyang exponent ay even. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. Perfect square yan. Pero kung ang exponent niya ay add, 1, 3, 5, 7, hindi siya perfect square. So, the first term is perfect square. Yung last term, yung 4, perfect square ba yan? Anong square root ng 4? Meron bang whole number na square root yan? Meron. That's 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So, ibig sabihin, characteristic number 2, check then. Okay? How about characteristic number 3? The middle term is the result of the product of 2. So, 2 times product daw ng 2, tsaka square root ng first term. What is the square root of x squared? Hmm, that's x. Kasi x times x, that is x squared. So, it times natin yung 2 sa x. And, product ang square root ng last term. Ano ang last term natin? That is 4. Anong square root ng 4? That is 2. So, tatlo ang ita times natin. Yung result dapat dito ay yung middle term na 4x. Okay? So, 2 times x, 2x times 2, that is 4x. So, therefore, Pasok itong characteristic number 3. And this is a perfect square trinomial. Pero pag may isang karakteristik na x, no, automatic, it is not a perfect square trinomial. Next, number 2. Well, by looking at the, at the given polynomial, alam natin that it is a trinomial. Okay? Karakteristik number 2. Yung first term ba ay perfect square? Yung 16, perfect square yan. Kasi ang square root ng 16 ay 4. No? Whole number siya. 4 times 4 is 16. Pero tingnan mo ang exponent. Sabi ko kanina, kapag ka ang exponent niya ay add. 1, 3, 5, again ito 3. Hindi siya perfect square. So doon pa lang. Sa first term, hindi na siya perfect square, pero kailangan, no? Dito sa perfect square trinomial, kailangan niya maging perfect square yung first term. So, definitely, hindi na siya pasok. Although, yung ating last term na 1 is a perfect square, pero kailangan kasi yung first and last ay perfect square. Okay? Now, no need to check for characteristic number 3. Pag may isang x, it is not a, a perfect square trinomial. No need to check for number 3. Na? Now, number 3 natin. Okay, so by looking at the polynomial, so alam natin that it is a trinomial. Now, 
perfect square ba yung first term? Hmm, 9. Square root niyan ay 3. Exponent niyan ay 2. That's even. So, meron niyang square root, which is a. No? a times a, a squared. Okay? So, okay ito. How about the last term? Mm, 100. Square root ng 100 is 10. So, pasok ito. Okay? So, our second characteristic is okay. Now, characteristic number 3. Again, we multiply 2 times, ano ang square root ng 9a squared? That's 3a. Ano ang square root ng 100? That's 10. Dapat, ang lalabas dito ay 60a. Okay? 2 times 3a, that's 6a. 6a times 10, that's 60a. Which is our middle term. Okay? Disregard the sign. No, hindi na natin tinitingnan dyan. Just disregard the sign. Okay? So, therefore, yung ating pangatlong characteristic is checked. That is actually a perfect square trinomial. Okay? Now, let's move on to how to factor perfect square trinomial. Number one example, let's say, uh, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4. This is a perfect square trinomial, okay? Now, to factor this one, uh, we have two quantities. Just get the square root of the first term, yung x squared, okay? Ang square root nyan ay x, so you just write x. Okay. Now, ano yung mga factors ng 4 na pag ipa-plus natin, ang sagot ay 4. Okay. Hindi naman 4 times 1 kasi 4 plus 1 is uh, 5. So, ang factors ng 4 na pag i-add ay 4 ay 2 and 2. So, positive. Okay. Kasi kung negative 2, negative 2, ang magiging result ay negative 4. But this is positive 4. Okay? So, hindi negative 2. So, dapat ito ay positive 2. So, that's it. I write plus, ay, sorry. Write plus 2 since positive 2, then plus 2 since positive 2 yon. Okay? Now, to check, you can use FOIL method. Okay, remember yung FOIL method natin. F for first terms, O for outer terms, I for inner terms, L for last terms. Multiply the first terms. Okay, ito yun. X times X, that is X squared. Multiply the outer terms. Yan. Parehas ng sign, it's positive 2X. Multiply the inner terms. The same sign pa rin. That's positive. 2x. And the last terms. Positive, positive. That's positive. 2 times 2 is 4. And remember, 2x plus 2x. That is 4x. Copy 4. Kung mapapansin mo, yun yun. No? So, therefore, our factor is correct. Okay. Now, you can actually... Uh, write yung factor natin. Since parehas naman ito, you can write is as x plus 2 squared. Since we have the same x plus 2. Okay? Now, you can check that using special product natin, which is a product, a square of a binomial. Okay? Pag in-square natin to, ang magiging result ay ito. Okay? So, that's how to factor perfect square trinomial. Okay? Now, let's try another example. Uh, let's say we have 9 a squared minus 60a plus 100. Okay, this is a perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, now, 
what is the square root of 9a squared? And that's actually 3a. Then you just copy the sign there. Just copy the sign. That's minus. Ano ngayon ang square root ng 100? That's actually 10. Okay? Then you just put square there. That's it. That is now the factors. Or that is the factor. Yung ating given a perfect square trinomial. Okay? Yan na ang sagot natin. Okay, next. How about if we have 16y squared plus 8y plus 1? Okay, this is a perfect square trinomial. No? Now, what is the square root of 16? It's 4. Square root ng y squared is actually y. You copy the sign dito. This plus. What is the square root of 1? Okay, it's 1. And just put square. That's it. Ganun lang kadali. Okay. Now, next. Number 4. Uh, let's say we have y squared minus 22y plus 121. Okay, that is example of perfect square trinomial. What is the square root of y squared? It's y. You copy the sign minus. What is the square root of 121? It's 11. Then put square. That is our answer. Sorry. Okay, that is now our answer. Okay, that's all.